So usually on this channel, we talk about luxury beauty, but today I could not pass up the opportunity to share something really exciting with you guys. I'm gonna be unboxing my very first Chanel bag and I am really more excited than I expected to be, which probably sounds really crazy. Here's the thing, I am not gonna lie and tell you that I've always like dreamed of having a Chanel bag because I'm from a very small town in North Carolina. Trust me, Chanel was like never really on my radar. It just wasn't something that I ever like aspired to have or thought I would have. I just didn't have a frame of reference of like anyone near me in my tiny town like walking around with a Chanel bag, okay? Like Louis Vuitton was like the most ultimate luxury I could even like fathom growing up. So I just never crossed my mind to want a Chanel bag. In case you want to skip straight to the unboxing or a particular point in this video, I will have timestamps below so you can go ahead and skip ahead and not listen to me ramble. So I kind of came the long way around to wanting this bag that we're unboxing today. I have a two-year-old daughter and after I had her, I really kind of felt like I didn't know who I was. I think that happens to a lot of new moms. I think that happens to a lot of 30-year-olds actually, whether you have a kid or not. Sometimes you just reach an age and you're like, I just don't really know who I am anymore. I don't really feel like myself. I don't know, like you reach an age where you kind of start to realize all the different ways that other people have shaped you and your circumstances have shaped you and your environment and you kind of start to think about like, I know I'm getting really deep for a Chanel unboxing, but you kind of start to think about, okay, like who am I and what do I like and what do I want for myself? What's my style? Who am I? What's my personality? What am I aside from all these other factors that have kind of influenced me? So I would say about a year ago after my daughter turned a year old, I really kind of started to grow into my own and I felt like over the past year, I have just known myself even better. I feel like my style and everything, I'm really getting to a place where like I dress the way that I like to dress and I feel very much like the version of myself that I kind of want to be like in my head. I feel like I'm more aligned with that. Yeah, so one thing that I found about my style is that I really like very traditional classic pieces like this shirt here. It's like a sweater with this, I don't know, this is from Veronica Beard. I love this. Stuff like this that feels very timeless. That's kind of my style and I've grown into that a lot over the last year. What I found is that I didn't really have bags that I felt went with my style now. So a few months ago, I bought the Celine micro luggage bag. That's this one right here. And I love this bag. It's so classic, timeless, and wonderful for most of my outfits. But I didn't really have something for like when I'm walking around a lot, when I wanna wear like a crossbody or something over my shoulder. Because this bag, as beautiful as it is, you either have to hold it here or you have to hold it here. It's not like an over the shoulder bag. And I tend to prefer to have over the shoulder bags because it's a lot more convenient for me to be able to put something over my shoulder and have the use of both hands. So I did quite a bit of research on what bag I would like to go over the shoulder. And I have like a Louis Vuitton crossbody that I adore, but I didn't have anything that I felt like really went with all of my outfits or went with something that was like I could use nine out of 10 times. So I kind of got in my head. I was like, you know what? I think I want a Chanel bag. And wouldn't it be great if I could have two? I only got one. No surprise here. There's not two. But I do want to eventually own a second one, maybe in a different color. But for my first one, I knew I wanted something kind of like gray because that's my neutral. I love a gray or like a taupe for a neutral. But I didn't want to go with taupe. It was so hard to find taupe. It was hard enough to find gray. I was like, you know what? Let's go with gray. So I went looking all over the internet. I looked at the flat bag and the boy bag. Ultimately, I decided for my personal style, I preferred the boy bag. I felt like the flat bag I would like to have, but in black. And since I didn't want to start out with a black bag, I wanted to go with a gray. I thought that the gray looked much better on a boy bag. So I went looking for sizes and I found that the medium size or the new medium would be good for me, which the new medium is bigger than medium. I kind of thought I would prefer new medium, but I looked and looked for weeks and weeks and I could never find the right color and new medium. So I did end up going with medium and gray with silver hardware because silver hardware was non-negotiable for me. I always wear silver jewelry. It is like a cold day in hell that you find me wearing gold, especially now because I'm so fair and I don't self tan anymore. So I'm like all the time wearing silver jewelry. So I wanted to have that match. Let's go ahead and open this up and I'll tell more about the details because I hate when people talk for 30 minutes, which I know I've been talking for a few already. All right, so this is the box. I got mine from Fashion File. I did buy it used. I just, I don't know. I know I could have called a store and try to get one new, but it just felt like a lot of like human interaction. And I am definitely more of like a lurker 
online shopper than I am like, let me call someone and tell them what I want. So I decided going secondhand was gonna be the best bet for me. And the bag that I wanted, I first found on Fashion File. So I did some research to make sure they were legit. And apparently they were like one of the very, very first like used luxury bag websites where you could like repurchase previously owned bags. So they are super legit. And my experience with them was really great. They shipped my bag out same day and it got to me the very next morning. And it's been sitting in the box because I wanted to share this moment with you guys. So you can see it comes in the box and they have like pilfer proof tape. And I did have to sign for this with UPS. So very safe experience. And they also called me to double check my like billing details to verify that I was who I was and not someone fraudulent using my credit card. So I actually appreciate that. They were really lovely to work with. I'm so excited. Also nervous. Guys, what if I open this up and they sent me the wrong bag? What if I open this up and I hate it? This bag cost me, let me double check. I hope my mom never watches this video because she will be like probably disappointed that I spent this much on a bag. Is anyone's parents like that? My parents, like I'm 31 and my parents still, sometimes I feel like they like judge my purchases. <laughs> $5,455. Luckily, I live in the state of Delaware so I don't have to pay sales tax. I would highly recommend if you're gonna buy something like this, maybe find a friend who lives in a state that doesn't have sales tax and see if you can ship it to them. <laughs> So here's the box. There's these little like tissue confetti pieces and a thank you, which is very cool. When you shop on Fashion File, they do tell you what the bag comes with. There's some bags that come with the original box. Mine did not, that's not like a big deal for me. I have a lot of Chanel boxes. I don't particularly need that one. And then here's a Fashion File nail file, so cool. And it says, I like my money where I can see it, hanging in my closet. Okay, so this is my receipt and it's for my Chanel caviar quilted medium boy flap gray. I did get the caviar leather. That was something that was really important to me. I wanted the caviar leather. So many people talk about how that's the better leather to have. So that was important to me. It's in here. I think that mine comes with a dust bag, but I don't know if it's like a Chanel dust bag or just a regular dust bag. So let's see. Okay, so it's not the original dust bag. It's like their dust bag. It smells good. I can smell the leather. Why am I shaky? I don't know why. Like, you know, that's just a test to Coco Chanel and the brand that she has built. That I have like this much excitement about a bag that I never prior to like maybe a few months ago thought I wanted to own. Oh my God, you guys, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Let's look together. Oh my gosh, it's really beautiful. They do tell you what kind of condition it's in. So mine was in the excellent condition and it does look like it's an excellent condition. And they show you like any imperfections. Like I think it said that there was a little bit of pushing at the bottom, which apparently is very common for this type of bag and doesn't bother me. This color is perfect. This is the perfect like gray taupe neutral. This is perfect. I can't think of a single outfit I own that this will not work with. You know, this is something like, I know it's so expensive but the thing is like I had a really difficult August and September you guys like they were hell even the first half of October oh my god am I gonna cry over handbag they were really hell and I've worked my butt off like the amount of work that I put in I mean and I'm not just talking about like work but like you know my husband owns a company I help him with his stuff I do a lot of work for him a lot of work for my daughter I help my parents with stuff. like I do so much and I worked my ass off in August and September just drained 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 going through like just emotional things with my family. And so honestly, like this, when I bought this, I was like, you know what? I deserve this and I'm buying this for myself because I can. And I just feel like I'm always gonna be really proud of this. And this is something that I can keep always and hand on to my daughter. And that makes me like really proud. And honestly, like this leather, the caviar leather, so beautiful. I'm so glad I went with that. It is so nice. This bag looks gorgeous. We haven't even opened it yet. Let's, let's open it up. I will say they do have like the plastic still on this, which is kind of crazy. So I feel like this bag was not even really used because there's still some of the plastic on the hardware. It literally looks like it was never even used, correct? Correct. So we're gonna open it. Oh my God, clasp is beautiful. Oh my gosh, you guys, the Chanel dust bag is still tucked away in there. I literally don't see a single scratch or sign of wear on this bag. The plastic is still on this. You guys, this bag has not been used. There's no way this bag was ever used. I'm like, I'm honestly overwhelmed. So here's the inside. We've got the Chanel logo made in France. This is the original price tag. It was originally 4,900. So this bag cost 4,900 and I paid 
ordered for it. And this is the authenticity certificate. On the back, it has a serial number. I don't know if that's important to hide, so I'm not gonna flip it over. But yeah, this was 4,900 and I bought it for 54.55, which is something you can do apparently and makes sense because this literally was never used. I am completely speechless. This is even better than I expected it to be. Oh my gosh, plastic is still on this piece. Okay, so here's the inside, the main open compartment, and then it has this open flap here. Wow, wow, wow. I think I can definitely like fit my phone in here, obviously. And what I just wanna be able to put in this is like wallet, phone, sunglasses, and keys, and a lipstick. And that's definitely gonna fit. I'm gonna close it back. I feel so excited that my wallet is in there. I love this so much, you guys. This is so beautiful. Here's the strap. The strap is the silver. And again, it has the leather at the top. So this portion of the strap is leather and then there's silver. And I'm gonna actually like stand up and show you how this looks. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is a moment. I'm just gonna like go look at my, don't, don't mind me. I'm gonna go look at myself. I can definitely cross body it. Definitely comfortable that way and definitely comfortable over the shoulder this way. I also wanna see if I can do it like the double, the way that people do it like doubled. Yes. Wow. I am beyond happy, you guys. So yes, this is the Chanel dust bag. And then I'm gonna put the authenticity stuff in here because I'm probably not gonna carry that around in the purse. I'm so excited. We're going to Miami later this, not later this month, in November. We're going to Miami for a couple weeks and um, this is definitely not going in my checked baggage. Have you guys ever watched Kelly Stamps? I watched a video where her Chanel bag literally got stolen by TSA. So uh, this will be going with me on the plane. I will not be letting this out of my sight. You guys, it has new car smell. It has new car smell. I am, this is so beautiful. I'm just taking off the little pieces of plastic now because I'm like, I just want to love this bag. I feel a little bit of pressure though because it said it was in excellent condition. I didn't really realize that it was like literally new, like literally like no one has used this bag. There's no, there's no way this has been used. There is not a single scuff mark any sign of wear on this bag and again the leather is very very much has like that like new leather feel where you can tell it's still a little bit rigid it hasn't like suppled up yet i still have a little bit of plastic here to take off this is just so absolutely beautiful obsessed with this again this is the regular medium size and i just feel like this color is so perfect it's so hard to tell colors online you know and when i saw this i thought this was like a really good color but it definitely looked a little bit darker online and i was like oh i wish it was just a touch lighter but i'm glad that i went with my gut and bought this bag because in person this is the absolute perfect shade for me i'm gonna grab my measuring tape and i'm actually gonna measure it for you because everybody does that in these videos and i've never made one of these videos but I'm assuming I should do what they do. So the width of the bag is about 10 inches. The height of the bag, the height of the bag is about six, six and a half depending on where you decide to put the top but about six and a half I would say. The depth of the bag, I would say that's about like three, a little bit more than three probably. And then the drop because I know the drop is super important. The drop is basically from the top of your shoulder to like where the top of the bag is. The drop is is about 20 inches. It could be off a little bit. And I love that the double still works because I had seen a couple people say that they couldn't do like the double up with the medium bag because of the drop that just, it just wasn't enough, but I, it worked just fine for me when I doubled it up and it's about 12 inches when you double it up. Let me know down in the description box if you own any Chanel bags and if you have any questions about this bag or the process of how I went about picking what I wanted and ordering it from Fashion File. I looked on the real real too. I did quite a bit of research. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to ask them in the comments down below and I will try to get to those. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, you take care of yourself. Bye.